We've set up the stages and levels and we've made a template to go with each one. Now we're ready to give all these templates to colleagues who will use them to make books. First, we should make sure that the name of our collection describes what it is. Mine does. If you need to change yours, go to Settings. Click on the Project Information tab. Change the name of the collection in the box called Bloom Collection Name. When you click OK, Bloom will close and reopen showing the new name. Now we're ready to make a Bloom pack that will share the stages, letters, words and levels with others. At the top of the left pane, just to the right of the name of your book collection, click on the white down arrow. Then click the option Make Reader Template Bloom Pack. A dialog box opens, showing the books that will be added to the Bloom Pack. Click the Save Bloom Pack button. The Save As dialog box opens. You can save this Bloom Pack file wherever you want to, on a USB hard drive, to a shared network folder, in Dropbox, etc. Find the folder where you want to save it and then click the Save button. A window opens showing the saved Bloom Pack so that you can more easily copy it somewhere else to share it. The person receiving the Bloom Pack simply has to copy the Bloom Pack file onto their computer and double click it. After clicking OK on this message box, the templates we have created will show up in the Sources for New Books area, like this. To learn about authoring books using these decodable and leveled reader templates, watch the movies in the series called Using the Decodable and Leveled Reader Templates.